Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Josh and today we're doing a photo recap where I talk about the photos that I took in the previous month. And if you couldn't tell by the length of this video, this month was a little light on photos. And by a little I mean a lot. I only shot a whopping one roll of film in the month of November, and to tell you the truth, I'm not too particularly thrilled with the results. I borrowed my friend's Mamiya RB67 and I shot a roll of Ilford HP5+, and here are the results. my first time using the camera and so I was getting my bearings and mostly taking some portraits of my family at a birthday party as well as some stuff around Brooklyn. This picture is probably my favorite of the bunch. Outside of that role, one of the main reasons why I haven't shot any other film is because my new job just doesn't really afford me the time to go out and shoot as well as the seasons changing and the sun going down as early as it does these days. I come home from work and there simply just isn't enough light for me to go out and take photos. And I know, I know this all sounds like an excuse and I'm hoping to break out of this dry spell in December. But there is another pretty significant reason why I haven't shot much in November. And it's because of this guy right here, not the bag, what's inside the bag. I went ahead and bought myself a Fujifilm X-T4. Now, don't worry, this doesn't mean that I'm switching to digital full time. Honestly, I just needed an upgrade in my digital space from my Canon Rebel T5 that I've been shooting with for the last like 10 years. I really needed a change of pace. It was just getting to the point where I needed to transition into the mirrorless space uh, in terms of my digital photography. I had a pretty drawn out debate within myself on whether or not I should go with Fujifilm or with Sony and as you can see I went with the Fujifilm. I won't go into the reasons why I went with Fujifilm but just know that this camera is part of the reason why I didn't shoot that much film this month. I've just been taking my time learning the ins and outs and all of the quirks and idiosyncrasies of this camera and this system because I'm not entirely um, familiar with the Fujifilm system. Uh, I even did an engagement photo shoot with some friends of mine earlier this month uh, so I'm kind of just putting a lot of my effort into this camera for the time being. So yeah, it's safe to say that the X-T4 is taking up a lot of my time, uh, as well as my changing work schedule and the changing weather patterns and the sun disappearing at 5 p.m. All of this amounts to me admitting that I could be more committing to going out and shooting as much as possible, much more than I'm currently doing. But you know, the thing is, you go online and you see a lot of these sort of I don't know, pseudo self-help gurus, and they're constantly saying things like, you wanna be a better photographer, you have to go out and shoot every single day, rain or shine, etc., etc. And while I understand the sentiment, and I believe in the Malcolm Gladwell 10,000 hours rule, I also don't typically subscribe to the idea that you need to be forcing creativity when you aren't feeling necessarily creative, or that you need to be setting aside your other needs and your other desires for the sake of maintaining some arbitrary self-imposed creative regimen. So that being said, I kind of use November to sit back and relax a little bit. It's also been my month to work on other projects. Uh, for instance, I've been writing a lot. I have a third novel that I'm working on. Um, by the way, you can find my first two on Amazon now. I'll post the links in the description. I think they're pretty good, even if I myself am not very good at self-promotion. I'm trying it here. If you want to read my two books that I've already self-published, uh, the links will be down below. And speaking of self-promotion, I also released an album. Uh, if you didn't know, I'm also a musician, hence the guitars. I work under the name Half Lotus. The name of the new album is A Radiant Abyss, and you can find it on Spotify or Apple Music or anywhere you find your music. Another fun fact, actually, regarding my music, um, two of my songs were featured in a film that a friend of mine wrote and directed. Um, that's available to watch on Netflix right now. 
if you could believe it. So go check it out. The film is called Mutt, and it's wonderful. All bias aside, uh, it, it's a wonderful, uh, truly, truly wonderful movie, and it's definitely worth a watch for all of you out there. Please go support this film on Netflix. Tell the algorithm that people are watching it so that uh, you can get it can get some more eyeballs on it. It's really a wonderful film, and you'll get to hear some of my music in it. So with all that out of the way, I guess I have always fancied myself a jack of all trades, a Josh of all trades, or just someone with multiple irons in the fire at any given point. But the issue with having so many irons in the fire is that some of them get left in while I'm hammering away and shaping some of the others. I imagine that there are many of you out there that feel the same way, uh, and I'm nearing my late 20s and I'm hoping to find a way to sort of reconcile this tension pretty soon. But in the meantime, there may be months like this where I don't have a whole lot of work to show, at least on the photography side of things. And that's because the other irons were pulled out of the fire and I was hammering away at them. But in making these videos and trying to maintain a sense of consistency with my YouTube channel, I felt I couldn't just leave November off the calendar entirely. I needed to come here and at the very least explain myself. If not for you, then just for me. And also just to nail down the idea that I need to learn to forgive myself for leaving irons in the fire. I don't know why I keep coming back to that metaphor, but I shouldn't beat myself up about it. And if you're out there and you do similar things, you also shouldn't beat yourself up about it. Sometimes you just need to take a month to reflect, to plan, to foster and provide nourishment to your relationships with your friends and your family and your other art. I don't think you'll ever catch me being one of those people who is encouraging you to go out and shoot every day. I think that the shoot every day mentality acts more as a metaphor. Like you should shoot every day in quotes uh, and that can include shooting with your mind. You don't necessarily have to take pictures every day. For instance, if you see a composition on your morning commute, you can frame it with your eye. You can imagine it in a dark room. You can try to take a guess at what your camera settings would be or what film stock you would use if you were to shoot it. And then walk away. As long as you don't forget that that iron is in the fire and waiting for you, I think you'll be okay. So with all that out of the way, this is a pretty short video, which is a bit of an anomaly on this channel. But I'm hoping to do more purposeful videos in the future. You know, ones where I actually go out with the intention of taking photos and I come back and dissect what I did or what I should have done. Um, because the more analysis type videos that I do are my favorites to make. And along with the artist spotlight videos, people seem to be liking those. So don't forget to let me know in the comments which photographers you think that I should cover in my artist spotlight videos. But yeah, also let me know what you kind of want out of this channel, what you think I should be making, what you want to see me cover on the channel. Like I said, I'm going to try to end my dry spell in December. I've actually got a pretty cool project, which you'll hear about next week. Um, and uh, I'm going to go out and shoot some more film, I promise. And until then, thank you all for watching. I've been Josh, and go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified when new videos are released. You could also become a member, just find that join button, and for a couple bucks a month, you can get some interesting perks and help this channel grow. Also, don't forget to go to my print shop where you can order a print. They come in really great quality, and uh, it would really help me out as well. That'll do it. Thank you all so much. I'll see you next week.